Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we have the Acer W510 with the keyboard dock. Now, if you know me, you know that I've been a huge fan of the netbook for as long as the netbook's been around. And to me, the tablet with the keyboard is essentially the same kind of usage scenario that we would have with a netbook. Now, the question is, Will this replace your laptop? Will this replace your desktop? How exactly is the tablet with a keyboard going to fit into your usage scenario? So I'm going to try to replace my Ultrabook with this tablet and keyboard. That's a pretty tall order because uh, I am a blogger. Um, I am media intensive. I love making you videos, right? So can I give up my Ultrabook for this tablet keyboard dock? I think I might be able to. Um, I have gotten a bunch of programs on here that I think are going to kind of make it happen. Now let's take a closer look at what I've installed to try to replace my Ultrabook with this little tablet keyboard combo. All right, now key to my productivity is going to be the keyboard. Uh, there's no way that I could replace um, my workflow completely because there's just nothing faster than the physical keyboard. Now I'm used to typing on a 10 inch device um, from the netbook so that's definitely something that I have no problem with but it is the apps and the programs that are going to be the huge issue. Now luckily because this is running an Intel processor we do have the desktop but the one thing that I have found so far is that the apps don't quite work like they would on a regular um, Windows 8 PC. There's definitely some other limitations that I need to kind of figure out. Like I don't have, you know, usually when I would import my um, media files into CyberLink PowerDirector, so this is CyberLink PowerDirector um, 11, so this is what I'm going to be using for my video editing. Now I have gone with the full featured um, browser over the mobile process, the, the CyberLink PowerDirector mobile here. Now the reason why I've done that is because I can't get my AVCHD files, which are the standard video files, to show up here. Uh, the PowerDirector mobile seems to only be for um, files that you've shot with your tablet, which is kind of useless for me because I'm not going to make you guys videos based only on a tablet. You can watch them. You, you need HD. You're, you're picky people. Now the other thing that I've got um, is I obviously have the full Windows suite. So I have regular Word, which also opens up in the desktop. Um, so if you did have Windows RT, uh, you wouldn't have these or options as fantastic as what we have on the desktop version. Um, now I am a blogger, so basically all I need to do is pull up a browser in order to access my WordPress backend. Um, now the WordPress app doesn't actually help me blog, so yeah. That's one of the things that I, I kind of need. So then we have my email, uh, which is a fantastic iteration of, my, it's my Gmail actually, it's my main one that I use uh, everything through too. Uh, my social networking feeds, which are kind of necessary if I wanna keep up on the news. So I do have my Google Reader synced with, um, I have my Google Reader, what am I using for my Google Reader? I'm using uh, this reading list app. Uh, it's not so good for sharing, but it is quite good for reading, so this is no problem. Uh, I probably will refine this over time. If you guys have the perfect uh, Google Reader app for Windows 8 Metro, please let me know because I'm still trying to figure that out. So basically what I'm going to be doing over the next week is I'm going to see how I can tweak all of these apps, how I can tweak... Um, I also had... Uh, let's see... There was something else that I was using. Hmm. Let's see. I also had a photo editor somewhere around here. Let's list all the apps. Let's see. I did have a photo editor that I was going to start using as well to edit my photos. Uh, maybe I uninstalled it because it was crap. Ah. I did. Okay, so I still am looking for a good photo editor. I'm just looking for something to basically resize, maybe watermark, uh, like a couple other things. So um, photo editor is another one of them. I'm trying to avoid like installing Photoshop 
on a desktop mode because I really feel like this this is a 1.5 gigahertz processor. This is the Intel Atom uh, Z2760. Uh, so I mean, this is a not a i5 or i3 processor. This is a low power consumption processor, which is why we're getting nine hours of battery life um, on the Acer. So I'm gonna try to stick to as many Metro apps as I can in order um, just to save battery life. So this is just the beginning of my week-long challenge to see if I can leave my Ultrabook for a tablet and keyboard combo. So I have a word processor, I have Excel, I have PowerPoint, right? So all of that works perfectly on this tablet. I have CyberLink PowerDirector 11, which is my video editing software. Um, it works. Right, and it works well. It's actually really fast. We're gonna get into that in the next video. Um, I'm still looking for a good photo editor. I have all of my apps, or all of my uh, news feeds and everything like that. I have Appy Geek if I wanna keep up with the news. So I mean, I do have everything that I would basically, technically need to give up my Ultrabook, but can I do it? Is this gonna be fast enough? Is it gonna drive me crazy? Because there are a lot of differences between Windows 8 um, on a regular PC and, when, and on a tablet keyboard combo. There's just a, a few small things that I haven't figured out, like having my you know, file browser open and dragging and dropping. And like just there's a few things that I don't feel are quite seamless, but maybe I can figure out how to get them going so that I can actually use this so it won't make me crazy. So this is just uh, day zero of my experiment. Um, please follow along and uh, I'll see you soon. And oh, guys, comments, leave lots of comments. Make sure that you're like letting me know what you want to see, uh, anything that you would like that, that's in your workflow that uh, you think that I should incorporate into here. So Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, a little bit, a little bit afraid, actually. <laughs> Bye.